On the corner of McDonald and Broadway, Kitsilano's Libraries has attracted avid readers, students, and everyone in between into its cozy headquarters over the years. I use this library because, you know, it's small and uh, accessible. In between grocery stores, schools, and other shops, the Kitsilano Library is able to offer passerby something that other libraries don't. Sometimes when I, you know, eat a snack or my lunch, I go to that end and sit on the wall. And uh, I was, you know, I often look at this space. And, yeah, I, I like it here. It's nice and quiet. <laughs> but for the neighborhood group, the Kit Space Project, what they see is potential yet to be filled. One of the other alumni and I noticed that there was a lot of public spaces that were not being used. Um, and so we approached the Vancouver Public Library and we said, we'd like to see what, what do you think you need? What would make your lives better? And uh, they told us it would be some seating and it would be to revitalize that public space. And so that's where we started. The Kids Space Project is a group of volunteers who work to revitalize unused space. With the library being their first initial project, they have come up with creative ways to make the empty patio something spectacular. Our launch is on June 21st, and we have the theme of giant games. So we're going to have a giant twister, giant Jenga, uh, lemonade stand. And because that library became famous for the Lego block party, which is where they put lots of Lego out for the children, so we kept that as our theme for the, the launch. The volunteer group takes advantage of as many free resources as they can, from donated pieces and wood from demolished sites. Our wood comes from houses that are being demolished um, around the neighborhood, and we make friendships with the contractors to encourage them to give the wood to us so it doesn't go to landfill, especially the scrap pieces. We sand them down. We take out hundreds of nails in the last few weeks, I think probably 400 nails by hand. With just a couple of weeks left until the launch, the Kit Space Project can hardly wait to open up the new and improved space.